and hello everyone welcome back to another tutorial or welcome to your first flask tutorial now we'll be talking about what is flask and if i ever in this video say fast api or fast instead of flask just know i'm talking about something that's very similar to flask but flask is probably easier than fast api but there's a tutorial on that coming out at some point as well but just if i say fast then just know i'm talking about flask and not actually fast api now what exactly is flask flask is a micro web framework basically you can use it to create an api or to create some sort of backend to your websites i'll be showing you how to use this and we'll create our own projects with this and make our own dynamic web pages you can think of flask as the php of python so if you've ever heard of php flask is very similar to php in terms of syntax wise with jinja which you don't need to know we'll get into that it may sound like gibberish but i'll show you step for step what to do now currently flask is at version 2.1 but you can work with any version that's 2.0 or higher if you're following along with this course. Cool. Now, if you ever get stuck, I recommend coming to the Flask website because they have a lot of things here that could help you. For example, a minimal application will show how to set up a basic application. Then there's some tutorials you might need, basics on templating and whatnot. Now, what do you need to know if you want to actually start using Flask? Well, you need to know the basics of Python. Luckily for you, I already have a tutorial on Python. So if you want to go watch that, you can. You don't even need to know everything there. It's just the basics you need to know. And you also need to know a little bit of HTML. Luckily for you, I've also got a tutorial on that. You don't need to know anything else. But if you know some bootstrap, and CSS and JavaScript and that could also help you but if you know none of those then you don't have to worry just a little bit of Python and a little bit of HTML is all you need now you do need Python installed on your system and preferably Python version 3.8 or higher now if you are all ready then we can get started with our flask tutorial I'll see you all in the next and first flask tutorial